And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bannerman Vi. We're playing a mostly all Demacia deck, just splashing Vi, because Vi is really cool and big and a challenger and stuff. And we got lots of other challengers and stuff in this deck too. Also playing War Chefs, one of my favorite support cards. Um, but we will have Fiora and Laurent Protégé in the three mana spot, Vi and Screeching Dragon in the five mana slot. Um, Fleet Feather Tracker, the one mana slot. So that's our challengers, one, three, and five. For the even numbers, we have our support, right? We have Bannerman being our support card there at four mana, getting the plus one, plus one for our different allies, and then War Chefs and Bright Steel Protector kind of being some support for our challengers there in the two mana spot. Um, so kind of a kind of a unique curve there of like challengers are one, three, five, support cards are two and four. Um, we also have um, huge bright steel formation at the top end that will steal some games and then a bunch of combat tricks back to back repost prismatic barrier um, rangers resolve sharp sight so a bunch of combat tricks to go with our challengers and then some removal a few single combats three of those and two concerted strikes so it should be fun to play i think the challengers are in a pretty good spot right now you do see a, a bunch of small units with the curves being pretty low everywhere and so having a bunch of challengers clear up the boards with the small units um, can be a good winning proposition so let's give it a try with bannerman vine and we got diana aphelios to start us off okay we'll keep tracker protege and i'm gonna mulligan the two five mana cards um, it's pretty easy for us to find another 5-drop, considering we have 3 Vi and 3... Oh, no, why didn't I play Tracker? <laughs> well, sorry, I was talking. Considering we have 3 Vi and 3 Screeching Dragon, by the time turn 5 rolls around, we'll probably find another 5-drop. Ah, four for four. I think they're gonna take this one. Ah, we can't tell. Who does not know the name I would not be surprised at all if they have Diana or Yeah, that thing's big. I'm gonna say Diana or um Aphelios. So this just makes this a 3-5 anyway. So let's just sharp sight block. Close my eyes, make it fair. For the glory of Demacia. Show them our metal. I don't think we we're supposed to just not attack. But they got a lot more cards than I do. Three more to be exact. Also three more mana. Night flowers upon my blade. I just kind of keep this concerted strike up for a little bit. Let's see what they do. Alright, so what, what would Diana be? Diana be... If they go... Mm, they can level up Diana. They can level up Diana and kill my protege if they have Diana plus Pale Cascade. It's not super likely for Diana plus Pale Cascade, but they do have it. I'll be sad. I don't really want to play back to back right now. I have so many cards over there. So much mana. Harry, 
<laughs> Bright Steel Formation, why do you take so long to play? Still two turns away from playing you. So the reason why they, I think they stunned my, they, I think they stunned this over the 2-4 because I think they were worried that I was going to go War Chef, support this, you know, kill kill their Cloven Way. Trade this Protégé up with a Cloven Way. Did they just play a Stalking Shadows and miss? No, it was a Dust Petal Dust. We're going to have a lot of Overwhelm. Probably should put those on, like this protege, and then support this, this one. I want to do some healing. I say, okay, so I should have supported Bannerman and then put the back to back on the two proteges. That's what I should. That's what I should do there. But all good. We got it. Your game. Ooh. They like to kill all of our stuff. I don't like my stuff getting killed. Um, this is definitely gone. And I guess I just keep all the two drops. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's going to be all the two drops. I don't have anything to, to challenge. Like, to, like, support with challenge. But I do, like... I do like just like the supporting of like making my attackers larger. That helps out against a damage based deck. Ooh, -hoo. Vanguard Bannerman. Is a good draw. Ow. Really? Really? Leaf Feather Tracker? Why would I just. Had Fleet Feather Tracker last turn, then I could, you know, Bright Seal Protector at this turn, get a free kill. But it's still, it's still like, it's still a really good draw though, right? Because then like this turn here on turn three, I get to double spell with Tracker, War Chefs, again, and then Bannerman. But I'm taking some damage. And I'm sad about that. Yuck. Yuck. I mean, I guess good news is it wasn't parlay. I could play War Chefs and Protector this turn and then, then spend the next two turns going Bannerman, Bannerman. I guess that's better. I guess that's better than just playing a Bannerman and only affecting two where the ban this Bannerman can potentially affect four. But I'm not, I'm not getting good use of the Protector. Please play something pre-combat. Please don't just attack with everything. Oh. No closer. Dang, I'm at eight. I guess I'm at eight. One banner, one destiny. Good thing I didn't play Bannerman last turn though, right? I would have missed because we had Vi on top. I would have missed one turn later. 
But yeah, they... I'll be surprised if we win this game. They've drawn three extra cards with these cro croakers. And they're also going to be difficult to deal with. I don't think we're in a great position to win this. The reason why I liked Vi here, because, you know, like, we were going to be able to, like, maybe Vi double attack. Like, the Vi, like, with the Toph, I really like that, instead of going Bannerman double attack. Um, because, like, next turn, we were going to have 7 mana next turn, which was, like, a really nice protege plus Bannerman. Like, if I... I don't know, because, like, if I go Bannerman, then I'm kind of stuck of, like, just Vi, and then, you know, like, it's just all kind of meh. I don't think I play Pursuit yet. I think I wait. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay. Something for all of you. Break their spirits and their swords. I had a good solid hand against me. Oh, Scorched Earth. I was trying to keep it from dying to Ravenous Flock. Man. I've got your back. A conquest for Empire. Fall to our standard. GG's. Um, yeah. Lots of great removal. Yeah, those... Those two twos that kept drawing cards and just gave it, that gave them, you know, those extra three cards. Rangers Resolve, where were you last game? I needed you last game. You would have been great. Oh, man, a Rangers Resolve would have been so clutch. Last game. I think, like, a Ranger's Resolve could have, like, saved a whole bunch of War Chefs, and then the War Chefs could have buffed each other up. Like, this was a card that we needed. Um, I still need... I still need Challengers and stuff, though. I like both Sharp Sight and Ranger's Resolve, but I need units. So, I probably can't keep both. I'll keep Sharp Sight. The best card in our deck is Fiora. We have drawn a whole lot of cards in these th three games now, and we have not drawn a single Fiora. That is definitely the best card in our deck. I'll just pass it so they don't like, you know, play uh, like a Fiora after combat, like make them waste three mana. Oh yeah, maybe they're gonna do that plus Aphelios last turn. Or no, they, I guess they just drew that Aphelios this turn. Really? I have three Vi's in the deck and that's it. And we already have one in our hand, so we had two out of 32. And we missed. 
two out of 32. Sometimes where you just look at Bright Seal Protector and you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? My, shield is yours. My opponent's making me jealous with having a Fiora. I wish I could have a Fiora. Oh man, and another Aphelios? We, basically, I wanted to cast that before, while I know while I knew they couldn't have Bastion. Like that was the big thing, right? Like our concerted strike killing a champion is like as good as it's going to do, and they don't have Bastion mana right now. So I I unloaded the concerted strike while they could not Bastion. playing the other Vi. All right, so we've killed three champions so far. I'm doing this my way. If they attack, they're telling me they have Hush, and that... Hmm. Seriously? Ever run out of that card? So the good-ish news is this is the last of Helios. That's not really good news, but that's that's about the only kind of good news I got. So that's the last one. I guess I have to kill Aphelios, but man, they have they still have so much mana. Drew five of their six champions. You know, like their deck is, you know, just all about like their champions and then protect them. They've drawn five of the six champions. Right? Yeah, isn't that isn't that insane? Five of the six champions? And basically, in 40% of their deck, they've had five and six.
Um, yeah, ranked is not just Ap Aphelios, but there's there's Aphelios is very highly played, but it's a lot of Aphelios and um, Twisted Fate and Zoe and yeah, lot, lots of Twisted Fate too. So they did have the Bastion. If I would have thrown my Concerted Strike out here the previous turns, they did have a Bastion. That would have stopped me. Must be nice getting that extra mana and all these free cards. Why do I have the Screeching Dragon first? I don't think they're going to be doing. I think they're going to be doing a lifesteal barrier anyway. So it probably doesn't matter which one I have first. No! That's bad. Too many Bastions. I mean, this was, this was really won by the champions, right? Like, they had five of their six champions, especially all three Aphelios and just all the cards that Aphelios got. We we even uh, fought through two Aphelios, but the third one... The third one got me. Yeah, we were dead. Problem. The landmark is, yeah, landmark's not a problem. It's it's Aphelios creating tons of free spells and just yeah, like the landmark wasn't the problem there. No reason, to, no reason to complain about that landmark. It was that was all Aphelios. All right, well we finally have a Fiora. All right, so that team will be able to hit me once. Slippery. Then hopefully our Fiora kills it, but Troll Chant um, or Brittle Steel would be able to save theirs. I wish I would have mulliganed this for post right about now. With us having all these you know, like drawing another repose and things like that. Repose that four mana is a little expensive. Never know what hit him. Ahead. You'll move. This time we're the ones that drew a lot of champions. We drew four champions here, two of each. Everything I've worked for. I don't need a plan. This. A 
Okay, so we're looking good. We both have five cards in hand, and we have a volume play. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to win, but right now we're looking good. I wonder if they're scared of Sharp Sight. Nope. So I wish I would have played that protege, which I would have just kept considered strike available. That ended up being a mistake. By my honor, you must die. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. My shield is yours. Punch it! Freeze! I never hold trying. I've always been a fun guy. Play this Vice Vault Breaker, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Vault Breaker. So I'm gonna keep Repost. Uh, I'm gonna play... Play the Vault Breaker, because this does put a... This puts a card back into my deck that doesn't have a pop cap, so that's good. You know, that's a plus. And we'll save Repose to be able to stop the next um, burn spell that would kill one of my things. Oh. Well, we, have, we do have 15 damage right here that we're attacking with. Open attacking, like the only the only way that opening attacking, like the only card that punishes me for not open attacking is the um, the Ice Veil Archer. Besides that, if they play like other like their regular units, I want to challenge them anyway. So we're putting two challengers into play. Um, it's likely that they have like frost, you know, like maybe they're going to be using like frostbite spells that I wouldn't kill them anyway. So like if they just play blockers, like these things eat the blockers anyway. Um, so it's it's definitely good to extend. If their plan is just spells. Then we're gonna have more attackers. Okay, so do they have frostbite or multiple damage things? We will see. And that answer is no. Looks like they gave up. Okay, two and two. And that's a knockout. All right, prediction started. So Shadow Isles Targon, is this just like a bunch of invokes and atrocity? Is that what we got going on over here? Or are they gonna have like Shadow Isles like removal that does a little bit of damage? <clears throat> that's, as you see how we drew the Screeching Dragon, that's why I'm mulliganed the Vi again, because we have all of the five mana challengers anyway. Don't want to keep one, and then we, you know, we keep Vi, then we draw Screeching Dragon, and then we just have too many in our hand. Don't want that to happen. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle fly. All right, so they're getting rid of Messenger Sigil. Like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We're going old school. Leaf Feather Tracker into War Chefs, into Laurent Protégé. We going old school. Could be Pale Cascade to kill Tracker. Okay, no, it's not. Good. See, lots of, like, small units that people are playing in, in Targon. and Got a nice two for zero. Now both of their units replace themselves. But... I guess the Spacey Sketcher didn't replace themselves. It just tr it traded out one card for another. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Pass. By not playing Bright Steel Protector there, I'm basically just not playing Bright Steel Protector this game, so maybe, or at least not for a while. So maybe that was wrong where I could have like a 3 2 attacking. <laughs> come on, come on. There you go. Okay. Just three more free kills. Just a little something I like to call fun. Challengers v small units. And then once they play the big unit, then we can turn strike it. Start with Protégé. Okay. We'll kill that with these two. And now I'm going to play... Oh, I did that wrong to not grow my dragon. Whoops. Now we're going to play another warship. So we could maybe just go Bright Seal Protector and then have them save the damage. Yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, stop. Okay, down to three. Got another two free kills. But they do get to Aurelian Soul. Ooh, not going Aurelian Soul. Um, do I even play... I mean, I guess I'm supposed to play Bannerman, but what do I play Bannerman instead of... Like, just one of the two one challengers, I guess. A symbol worth fighting for. Alright, that'll do. Good old Demacia. That was a fun game. 
whenever they just play a whole bunch of small units into your challengers, that's always a lot of fun. And there we go. So that's going to be Bannerman Vi. So that's what our deck's trying to do. We had the we had that one loss to Aphelios. That was pretty disappointing with the triple Aphelios. Um, you know, that one that one was one that I thought that we were gonna win. Uh, but you know, third Aphelios got us. The um, the Twisted Fate Swain deck. That's a tough matchup because basically what we're trying to do is control combat, and you know you you know uh, all that kind of stuff. But they have so much damage based removal and um, just really good removal for our unit. So that one is a tough matchup. A couple things they did have though all three of the uh, frog that drew an extra card, and so that was really rough because they had like all these like two power things like we just played against, but they kept drawing more cards and they kept on, and, you know, and then we're able to, you know, twist a red card, clear up a bunch of stuff. Besides my units, my most important card in that kind of matchup is Ranger's Resolve. This is a card, this is the card that we really want against your Noxus Bilgewater removal decks, and I did not have that card, unfortunately. Um, but that's all right. So that's a tough matchup. Don't, don't mind losing that one, but I, I wish we would have won that Aphelios one. But still, three and two. Good positive winning record there in Masters rank. Gonna gonna take that all day. Um, I really like Demacia right now. I really like Challengers. I think that Fiora is well positioned with the small unit, lots of decks with small units. I think that makes Fiora pretty well positioned and just Challengers in general, Protege same kind of thing and then um i've been very impressed with the with the two two war chefs we've been really uh doing well with different war chefs decks recently war chef fiora decks um you know like the lulu fiora we played yesterday was pretty awesome so um this is something that i think a lot of people are overlooking is just the power of challengers and demacia and Cur go good old uh, curve out demacia um still still good all right, but that's all I got here for Bannerman Vice. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and definitely leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Bannerman Vi and just Demacia cards in general and anything else in life. I always love seeing those comments. But, that, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching some Bannerman Vi, and I will see you for the next video.